generate n-type semiconductor has 5% neutral dopant atoms. Its Fermi level is located at 0.25 electron volt below the conduction band EC and the donor energy level ED has a degeneracy of 2. Assuming thermal voltage to be 20 millivolt, the difference between EC and ED in electron volt rounded up to two decimal places. Okay. So, normally what we what we say that in general when we uh, understand semiconductor, when we read semiconductor, then normally at room temperature we assume that the all donor level gets ionized and accordingly we analyze the semiconductor, we find out the concentration of electrons and holes. But if all the donor levels are not getting ionized, then the concentration of, then the concentration of, then the concentration of electrons at donor energy level, donor energy level, because all the donor levels are not ionized, so therefore, there are fifth electrons with some of the donor atoms, they are not ionized, okay. So, that is the concentration of electrons at donor energy level, because if all the donor level will get ionized, there, then there will be no electrons at donor energy level, because all the, all are, uh, all donor levels are ionized and all the fifth electrons are in the conduction band, okay. So, if all the donor levels are not getting ionized, then the concentration of electrons at donor energy level is given by ND, where ND, this ND is total doping concentration or total concentration of the donor atoms. If all the donor levels are ionized, then this ND value will definitely be 0, where this ND is the doping concentration. 1 plus 1 upon G, where G is the degeneracy factor into e to the power, e to the power, EC minus ED, EC minus ED, no, no, ED minus EF. upon kt with respect to fermi level okay ed minus ef upon kt okay this is the formula okay one upon g where g is the degeneracy factor degeneracy factor okay now from this formula we can find out the value of ed minus ef but we need to find out EC minus ED, difference between EC and ED. Here, the Fermi level position is given with respect to EC. So, I am knowing the EC minus EF value. If I can find out the value of ED minus EF by knowing this ED minus EF and EC minus EF, I can easily find out the value of EC minus ED, definitely. So, let us solve this equation and find out the value of ED minus EF. Now, what is the concentration of electrons and donor energy level? This is the concentration of donor atoms we are, which are not ionized. Because of, if suppose there are 100 donor atoms, out of these, 90 donor atoms got ionized. So, uh, uh, out of 100, there are 10 donor atoms which are not ionized. So, these 10 donor atoms will contain 10 electrons each, fifth electron which are, which are, which are not ionized. Okay. So, the concentration of electrons at donor energy level is same as the number of donor atoms which are not ionized at the donor energy level and that is also called as neutral donor atoms because if donor, donor atom is not donating its fifth electron, it is not getting ionized, it is not becoming a, an ion, it is a neutral donor atom with its fifth electron attached with it. Okay. So, this is the concentration of donor atoms not ionized. Okay, so a non-degenerate and semiconductor five percent neutral dopant atoms means five percent of donor atoms are not ionized. So there will be this is also the concentration of electrons at donor energy level. So if total donor concentration is N D, out of this five percent of donor atoms are not ionized. So these five percent donor atoms will contain electrons each donor atom will contain one electron and this will be the concentration of electrons at donor energy level okay so 5% of donor total donor atoms are not ionized so these donor atoms will contain each donor atom will contain one electron and therefore the concentration of 
non ionized donor atoms will be same as the concentration of electrons at donor energy level 0.5 nd is equal to nd uh, 1 plus 1 by g e to the power td minus ef upon kt okay so nd nd got cancel out 1 up 1 upon g e to the power td minus ef upon kt is equal to 1 upon 0 0.05 is 20 so e to the power ed minus ef what will be e to the power ed minus ef ed minus ef upon kt will be equal to 20 minus 1 is 19 19 into g g the value of g is 2 degeneracy factor is given as 2 so this is 38 19 into 2 is 38 therefore therefore the value of ed minus ef ed minus ef will be kt ln 38 now put if you want to have this value in electron volt kt should be in electron volt thermal voltage is 20 millivolt i will convert this thermal voltage into volt that is 0 0.02 volt so the value of thermal voltage in volt is equivalent to if thermal voltage one minute if thermal voltage is in volt that is 0 0.02 volt hai na? that is 20 millivolt okay so if the value of thermal voltage is in volt then kt will be in electron volt and what will be the kt value same value of thermal voltage okay the magnitude of the thermal voltage will be converted into electron volt if i will take thermal voltage in volt then kt will be in that much electron volt if i will take kt upon q in millivolt then kt value will be this much of milli electron volt so i will take this 0 0.02 electron volt ln 38 okay so if thermal voltage is in volt then kt will be in with the same magnitude but in electron volt if kt upon q is in millivolt then kt will be in milli electron volt with the same magnitude okay so 0 0.02 ln ln 38 i'm getting it as 0 0.072 Seven five electron volt. Now I know the value of ED minus EF, but I know I need to find out the difference of EC and ED. Here the Fermi level is located 0.25 electron volt below the conduction band EC. So obviously Fermi level is EF is 0.25 electron volt below below the conduction band energy level EC. So from here I can say that EC minus EF is nothing but 0.25 electron volt. And I, I have found that ED minus EF is 0 0.072.75 electron volt. Okay. So now subtract this minus this, you will get EC minus ED because EF, EF get cancel out. So my answer is 0 0.25 minus my 0 0.25 minus Two five. Okay, so I'm getting it as point one seven seven two, approximately point one eight electron. Point one eight electron. This is the answer. Point one eight electron. This is the answer of this question. Okay. Now let us discuss the next question. Okay.